Hello everybody and welcome to this x 11 video. Today I will be showing you guys how to download scenery for x 11. So, let's hop right into it. Okay, so, first thing you guys are going to want to do is go into your search browser, and mine is um, Internet Explorer. Then you guys are going to want to type in x um, x plane not space dot org um, yep um, and then you guys are gonna want to go into the flight sim community for x plane so here is x plane dot org's page so the first thing you're gonna want to do is go into download manager and files download manager and then go to search so Today, I'm going to go and look at the top scenery. Oh, actually, um, sorry, I forgot to mention this. Uh, before, you're, you're not able to download any scenery if you don't have an uh, um, account. So, you guys should first download, an, uh, um, not download, uh, make an account. And, yeah, and I really recommend it. Um, Explain.org is going to be your best friend. So, yeah. So, now let's go into downloads and go to top scenery because we're downloading scenery today. Um, go, you guys can pick out whatever um, scenery you want. Doesn't matter to me. So I think I'm gonna buy, um, not buy, download um, Phoenix International Airport because I really like the airport, and, yeah. So I'm gonna press download this file. So, there's two files, so what we're going to look for is the newest one, and the newest one is 1.1, as you guys can see. So, we're going to download 1.1. Downloaded that. We are going to save that, and now we're just going to let it load. Um, and it, it might take longer to load for you guys than for me, or it might take less time. It, it basically all depends on um, your internet at the time, I, I believe. Yeah, so I'm not exactly sure, but I, eh, yeah, it's sometimes slower, sometimes faster. Okay, so now it's finished downloading, so let's open the file. So now we don't need this anymore. So now we're going to go into, we're just going to, so here's Phoenix Airport. We're just going to check, yep, it looks like everything's there. So that's good. So we're going to extract all. Gonna press browse, and we are now gonna pick our file we wanna we wanna put it in. So we're downloading scenery. So we're gonna put it in the custom scenery folder. Gonna select the folder, and uh, let's check if it's going there. Yep, custom scenery. Okay, so let's extract it all. Now it's just gonna quickly load all up. So here, as you guys, okay, replace the files to the destination. Okay, now it's just going to quickly load all up. Might take longer, might take a shorter, shorter. All depends. So, okay. So now that we did this, here comes the confusing part. So, um to download scenery on X Plane 11, your custom scenery file will have to be very, very organized, as you guys can see mine is. So I, na I rename them all and put either an A in front of it, which stands for airport, an O in front of it, and that stands for basically objects, utilities. And then I put a Z in front of all, those, all, all of the um, scenery, like mount pictures and like mesh. Okay, so... In X Plan Eleven scenery, basically, um, it's all it's always got to be in, in a certain order. That is why I renamed it to A, O, and Z. So the airports have to be on top, like always. The um, the utilities have to be in the middle, and then the mesh and photos scenery have to be at the very very bottom. That's why I named them A, O, and Z. So, so now let's find the airport we just downloaded. So there's Phoenix. It's not going to work unless if we right click and press rename. 
select that, press, put an A in front of it, and then press enter. But I'm not going to do that, so it's not going to show this page for you. I already downloaded this file, so I'm just going to say no and delete it. But, yeah, I already downloaded it, and here Phoenix is, so that's what it's going to show on your screen here. Phoenix at the very, very top. So, yeah, let's basically now get, now let's check it out. So we can X that out, and... Yeah, we can go into X-Plane 11. Okay. Oh, there's a new update. Okay, that's interesting. I'll do that after the um, video. Okay. So now we just have to wait and it'll load up. Okay. Full screen that. Okay, we can... We're going to fly on American Airlines, I guess. <laughs> um, now let's go to our airport. So, Phoenix, spelt like that, I believe, the airport code, yeah. And we're going to put it more to into the morning so we can actually see something. Well, like, see the airport, and not just lights. And, yeah, now we just have to wait. So, and, um, and please tell me in the comments how you like the airport, and if it didn't work, just tell me, and I might be able to help you, but it should work, okay? And, yeah, um, and also write in the comments if you'd like to help with downloading any other type of scenery or utility or whatever. I can easily make a tutorial on that, on one of those things. Okay. It's already reading new scenery files. I, that must mean we're like halfway there. That just said finishing a synchronous loading, done with preloading, finishing a synchronous loading, and now it should say done with preloading again, and then I think it'll be ready. Honestly, not exactly sure, but that's what it almost always does. I don't understand why it says done with preloading. See, done with preloading, but we're still loading. It's not actually done with preloading. See, and now it goes back to a finish Finishing a synchronous loading, back to done with preloading, but it's not actually done. I don't get that. Like, it should just always say finishing a synchronous loading, and then when it's actually done with the preloading, we're gonna see the airplane up. Oh. Okay, here we are. So, as you guys can see, auto gate is, um, is, like, it works at this airport, so yeah, that's all. That's nice, and yeah, here's our plane. Um, so let's check this airport out. Yeah, this just looks outstanding. It looks so much better than um, all the other. Um, the default, the default just looked awful. Well, not awful, but didn't look as good as this. Just looks beautiful. Look at the runway textures, all of this. Oh my gosh. Oh, and look at that. There, they even there's Phoenix downtown. So Mr. X even coded that in. Yeah, so I recommend you guys should really download all of Mick, Mr. X's um airports and scenery. It it just makes your simulator outstanding. Sadly, he didn't code that many airports, is, is, and that is a bummer. But the airports um, that he coded are just incredible, and I hope he's coding more. So yeah, there's the Southwest Terminal. Okay, right over there. And here's the American Terminal. So, yeah. That was about it for this video today, and make sure you subscribe and like the video. The support would really help the channel, and please tell me if you would like, in, please write in the comments if you would like to see another video like this, and yeah, have a good day. Bye-bye.